Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ken, also known as Mr. Ken Dennis. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another Priceline recommendation haul video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys click on the subscribe button down below. I mainly do a lot of makeup related videos and also vlog about my personal life. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so it's that time of year again when Priceline has another one of their 50% off sales on all hair care products. So it's going to be on Wednesday and Thursday. That's the 5th and the 6th. Let me just double check. Yes, 5th and 6th of April. So um, you guys really liked my cosmetic sale recommendations video from last two weeks ago, I think. So um, hopefully you guys will like this one as well. Okay, let's start off first with the basics. So washing their hair. So this one is my favorite supermarket drugstore type shampoo. This one is by Herbal Essences. This is the Hello Hydration Shampoo. Uh, this one has coconut essence. So I've been a big fan of this particular shampoo for years. I've tried out so many different brands of shampoos from the supermarket drugstore and this is just the perfect one that I've found that just hydrates my hair without making it feel really heavy. As you guys can tell, I've got quite thin hair, so I have to be careful with what I use. Otherwise, I'm going to have a very, very flat crown. Um, and this one doesn't do that. Just adds that nice amount of hydration, cleans my hair, cleans my scalp, and, you know, makes it ready for when I use the second lot of shampoo. Okay, so the purple shampoo that I use at the moment is this one from L'Oreal. I don't think this is actually... Uh, available um, at Priceline because I had a look at their website. I, don't, I couldn't find it. So one purple shampoo that I highly recommend to you guys if you guys are blonde is the Fudge Toning Purple Shampoo. Now before I started using this one from L'Oreal, that's the one I used and oh my gosh, it was really, really good. Now the only reason I switched from Fudge to this is because this one actually has a silver tone to it, whereas Fudge has got definitely more of a grey tone. Now let's move on to conditioners. So as you guys can tell, I bleach my hair and my hair gets quite dry and I have had a few occasions where my hair snapped off um so i have found a few products that have been like my holy grail products that have kept my hair attached to my scalp and one of them is this conditioner this one is by choco this is their moisture recovery conditioner they also sell this in a mask um i have to say that mask is so hard to find i almost always can't find it like Whenever there is stock, I always forget to buy it. Um, I probably should buy it next time. Um, but this is really good. I like it. Uh, basically, it just infuses your hair with a lot of moisture. It's salon grade. It works. It's perfect. And I always find that my hair is nice, bouncy, and shiny right after this. So highly, highly recommend if you guys have dry, damaged hair, check this one out. So for times when my hair is really, really just not in good shape, I grab for this. This is the Joyco K-Pack Deep Penetrating Reconstructor. I mainly use this maybe once a fortnight or once a month and it basically just infuses my hair with a lot of protein and that's what your hair needs when it's just gone through a lot of bleaching, a lot of colouring, a lot of you know outdoor time in the sun. Um, your, your hair just loses its strength and this just adds that strength back and then on top of that I use this to add that shine and moisture and oh my gosh my hair feels like it hasn't been coloured which is which is a lot to say, you know, for coloured hair. Now, if you guys are just into toning, I've got a few options for you. So one that I absolutely love for toning, for conditioner-wise, is this one from Schwarzkopf. This is the Schwarzkopf Live Pastels um, Cool Grey. So it's basically the granny hair colour. And as you guys can see, my hair isn't like that, but there have been times I've left this in my hair, and you guys can see this in my Instagram. I've left this on my hair for maybe half an hour or more, and it's definitely giving me this nice gray tone. Maybe not that gray, because I don't go extremely light with my hair, um, but it definitely gives me this nice grayish tone. And when I find that the toner that I've used in my hair, like the chemical one, has stripped out, I just leave this in my hair and it just makes it all look good again. So I'm really happy with this product. If you guys are more on the platinum blonde side and you guys just want something to knock out the yellow, you don't necessarily want blue tones, purple tones, silver tones in your hair, just something to knock out the yellow, definitely check this one out. This one is by Colorestore and this is the Ice Platinum. It's basically like a tinted um, conditioner, so pretty much like this, but you get more product in this one. Um, I tend to use this and mix it in with one of my conditioners and leave it in my hair, and that way it gives me more of an even um, finish, but definitely if I just want a platinum look, this is definitely one I reach for. Okay, so that's pretty much it for all the products that I use in the shower. Now let's move on to styling products. So let's start with this one. This one is by Schwartz. Boscoff Live Color. This is the Pastel Spray Icy Blue. So it's basically one of those um, sprays that 
you put it into your hair when it's quite damp you blow dry it and it lasts for up to three washes so if you guys would like to see this product in action I've actually used it on myself so the video should be linked on the screen somewhere and down in the description box down below so as a blonde and as a person who naturally has wavy hair my hair tends to frizz up really really bad so I have to blow dry my hair and unfortunately by blow drying it it causes damage so I always make sure that I use something to protect my hair so this one is by fudge this is the style tri, tri blow prime shine and protect blow dry spray so I basically just spritz a little bit of this in my hair when it's still damp this stuff is great it doesn't leave any um, residue on my hair it doesn't make my hair feel stiff or sticky I've used so many other like blow drying protecting sprays and they always just leave my hair quite crunchy and quite greasy um this one definitely doesn't do that so highly recommend this one for those of you guys that have very fine hair that just cannot afford to have excess oil or just like weight on the hair Okay, speaking of flat hair, if you guys have oversaturated your hair with conditioners or oils and you just have lost that volume in the crown, um, I've got a few options for you. So this one is by Fudge, this one is Batiste. Um, they're basically those powders that you put onto your scalp and they massage it a little bit and it's kind of wet. It kind of feels weird, but it definitely adds that volume to your hair. So um, obviously you can tease and stuff like that, but if you guys are against teasing and you just want to put something in there and it just bumps up your hair, so if volumizing powders aren't for you, obviously you can use a dry shampoo. So as you guys know, I'm a big fan of dry shampoos. So my absolute favorite ones are by Batiste. It doesn't really matter what scents, that, though there are a few scents that I just cannot tolerate just because I, I don't like that scent. But anyway, Batiste make great dry shampoos. I really like them. They're quite inexpensive as is. Um, I basically just spritz this a lot on my roots because as a non-natural blonde, um, I need that coverage to cover some of my dark roots. So this is really good for that. Um, but if you guys have darker hair and you know I've gone you know different shades of blonde and brown on the channel um, for those times I do prefer something that doesn't have a white cast and Tresemme has got your back this one is the instant refresh volumizing dry shampoo um, you can put a lot in your hair and it doesn't leave that white cast uh, so let's talk about hair colors as you guys know I do my own hair so I always buy um, drugstore box dyes I don't necessarily use um, the peroxide in the box I just use the actual hair colorant and maybe the conditioner and obviously the gloves um, and then I make my own toner if you guys are interested in knowing how I do that I have videos again down in the description box down below explaining how I do all of that but my favorite brands for hair coloring from the drugstore are definitely Revlon and L'Oreal so let's talk about Revlon first because I don't have a box for it um, it's the Revlon I think it's like the color stay line anyway here's a photo of what it looks like my favorite shade to use is number seven it's called the dark ash blonde works really well so I usually just bleach my hair once and I use that to achieve this nice dark dirty blonde look and for what I'm wearing at the moment or what hair color I have at the moment I actually bought two of these already um I didn't even know there was going to be a sale but anyway I've already stocked up these ones are by L'Oreal Excellence Creme um I use the shade 8 point one ash blonde as you guys can see that is not ash blonde on my hair I mean it's a little bit lighter I think my hair has got more of a creamy beige tone to it but anyway I really love this brand I really love the range definitely check out L'Oreal and Revlon hair dyes they are some of the best ones out there all right so there you guys go that is the end of the video if you guys have enjoyed the video don't forget to thumbs up the video and tell me down in the comment box down below what are you guys going to get from the sale I'd love to hear from you guys and I'm also thinking of other products that I should try out I've I went to Priceline the other day and I was looking around in the hair care section because I was, you know, getting my bleach and stuff. Um, I do want to try some of those Hask hair oils. Is that how you say it? Husk? Hask? Um, because they're quite inexpensive already. So I might indulge and get a few hair oils because I'm currently on the last few uses of the current hair oil that I'm using. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Like I said, I did say that, didn't I? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out these other videos on the screen. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.